Apple team at the University of Vermont planted a new high-density orchard at the Horticulture Research Center. This is the site of the orchard in early spring. Once the snow melted, we tilled the rows that would be planted. We sited the orchard using a surveyor's transit to align the rows with neighboring orchard blocks. We made sure the rows were straight and square to each other and at the desired row spacings. Organic matter is naturally low in the Adams-Windsor sandy loam that at the farm has, and prior research from the University of Maine showed improved growth for the initial three years of an orchard's life if pre-plant compost was applied to the tree row. Therefore, 64 cubic yards of commercial municipal compost was applied down tree rows with a tractor-pulled mulch spreader. Applied compost was then incorporated with a rototiller to distribute evenly in the tree row and to provide a uniform planting bed. In high density systems, the sheer number of trees from 726 trees per acre in this orchard to upwards of 2,000 trees per acre in super spindle systems often dictates mechanization at planting time. However, with the randomization of different cultivars for research purposes in this orchard, we could not easily use the tree planter. Thus, individual tree holes were marked on a grid. Because this is going to be a certified organic planting, it was important to use only approved materials in the layout of the trees. Thus, no paints or other prohibited substances were used for tree marking. String was pulled back down each row in a north-south orientation. The two outside rows were marked with a spot of lime every four feet. After the two outside rows were marked, a separate string was stretched east-west across the planting, lined up to the marks on each side of the outside rows and lime was put at each intersection of the strings. Although we opted not to use a tree planter, with 768 trees to plant, some mechanization was necessary. Holes were individually drilled with a skid steer mounted hydraulic auger with an 18 inch diameter bit. Andy, our experienced operator, augered all the holes in one day.